Okay, so we're doing liquid testing, and we've got about 5 milliliters per second on the left side, and now I'm looking at about 7 milliliters on the right side. This is the brine side. That was the broth side. And we don't have the distributors on, and as predicted, that distributor is a bit tight, and we have sort of overflow, but the liquids are going into the funnel and the column is working well and so is the other column over there and we have successfully operated and here we're at 33.6 tor and we have liquid flowing into our receivers that's the B side receiver so the right side is the broth or is the right side the brine <laughs> Our labels fell off. Oh no. Oh no. This is the brine. Okay, so the right one's the brine, left one's the broth. We were having trouble with the broth side on the A side. That's the big one? Not sure why. The big one. But, uh, pretty successful day, I would say. <laughs> when you're all the way back here, you can't really tell the liquid flow on the column, but I'm going to get up on a stool. Do we have a stool? Uh, there's this one, but that's probably really high. I don't really like going up on a stool like that, but... Maybe you'll be able to see once you see the video that liquid in the column is good. And a video of the other side of the column. It is going great here. Going into the thingy majiggy. Just fine. This is our pre vac condenser. So we're pulling vacuum and regulate it. These are our hot plates where we're going to preheat our feed. These are the peristaltic pumps that are going to feed to the hot plates from our feed source. And this is the vacuum pump we're going to use to evacuate these vessels between batches, the A side and the B side. And these are the liquid pumps to pump the liquid from the receivers out to storage vessels.